the Trinity Church Home is created for the purpose of establishing and maintaining in the city of New Haven a refuge for the poor and friendless members of Trinity Parish and such others as the Board of Managers may think are entitled to its benefits. In 1862, with these words and this mission, Trinity Church Home was incorporated by an official act of the Connecticut Assembly. For 150 years since then, the organization, governed by the Trinity Home Board, has fulfilled its mission by providing refuge for the poor and friendless in New Haven. When it was founded, a distinguished board of trustees, led by the Reverend Dr. Harwood, was appointed to govern it. Trinity Church Home was originally created to support elderly women at a time when there was no social security safety net and when women generally did not work. From the beginning, though, women largely ran the organization. Trinity Home Board in 1874 included five women officers. The associated Board of Almoners was made up entirely of women, some 21 of them, including the generous and wealthy Mrs. Lucy W. Boardman. In the 1960s, the last of a series of homes was sold and the money from the sale was put into an endowment fund, which today supports the elder ministry of Trinity Church. The first Trinity Home for the Elderly was opened on the 23rd of October in 1862, its first location was a rented house in Leffingwell Alley, near Temple, a half block from Trinity. In 1868, dry goods clerk, cotton trader, owner of the Farmington Canal and railroad magnate Joseph Earl Sheffield, funded the construction of three buildings on one campus plot in downtown New Haven on George Street. This included a parish school of Trinity Church with apartments for the teachers and a chaplain, a Trinity Church home for the elderly, and between these two, a Trinity chapel. They were designed by the noted New Haven architect Henry Austin. The existing Trinity home with eight inhabitants was moved to the new building on April 15, 1869. Today, the chapel and the school have become the New Haven branch of the Salvation Army. In 1905, the land and the three buildings of what became known as the George Street Establishment were sold, and a large house purchased at the corner of Oak Place and Howard Avenues, what is today the corner of Legion and Howard Avenues, just one block west of Yale Hospital. In the urban renewal of Oak Street in the 1960s, the building was torn down. It is now a parking lot. In 1926, Trinity Home moved from 186 Oak Street to 84 Norton Street. Today, the Norton Street building houses the New Haven Reentry House, a residential program providing adult male probationers with coordinated services to find stable housing and employment. In 1971, Trinity Home on 84 Norton Street was sold for $56,000, and the eight ladies living there were placed at St. Paul's Home at 600 Chapel Street. Today, the building is the Historic Mansion Inn, which one reviewer has called the best place to stay in New Haven. The Trinity Home Board continues on with the work of its original mission managing the donated endowment of Sheffield and others over the years, at first by supporting the remaining ladies and then by providing funds for parish outreach to community charities, emergency expenses for distressed parishioners, funding the conference call system for shut-ins, organizing social events, and funding accessibility improvements to the church building. Once, a refuge for the poor and distressed was physical, Today, isolation and loneliness are greater issues for most of our elderly parish members who seek a social and religious home at Trinity. Each year, the Trinity Home Board hosts two lunches for parish seniors. Christmas tea is served at Whitney Center, along with Sherry. During the year, it organizes various lectures, video cast operas, sailing trips, and historic excursions by bus. 
It has funded a handicapped access elevator, advanced PA systems, extra handrails for the staircases, headsets for the hearing impaired, and each week at two services, the conference call ministry reaches out to shut-ins. Up to 25 parishioners attend Trinity in the Spirit or over the phone lines. Thus a Trinity Home Board, while managing its endowment as a good steward, continues to meet the spirit of the original Trinity Church Home mission. For more information about the Home Board, see the pamphlet Trinity Home 2012. And now, to help you experience a typical Home Board excursion, we present There and Back Again, A Voyage on the Schooner Quinnipiac. Sign me, up Sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. Write my name, Write my name on, the on heaven's roll, for I've been changed. Since the Lord has lifted me, I want to be ready when Jesus comes. When Jesus comes, when Jesus comes for the trumpet will sound out when my Savior comes. When my Savior comes. Shall rise. Oh, I'm glad I've been changed since he lifted me. I want to be ready when Jesus comes. Sign me up, sign me up for the Christian Jubilee. Write my name, write my name on the roll. On heaven's roll, for I've been changed. I've been changed since the Lord has lifted me. Just come.